this is definitely going to make me talk about love. I don't care. And, and past, because Mercury is retrograde coming tomorrow, it's just not right this minute. It's going to be on the 4th, is all about, you know how you had a first love when you were little and that first love never went away because you really felt that incredible Leo, double Leo feeling where somebody really thinks you're special? Well, I had that happen. So you're either going to feel energetically alive and kicking. It's double Leo. But what they don't tell you is under a new moon, it's dark out. So it's an introverted Leo. It's not the normal Leo. So either you'll want to get all dressed up, but you want to stay in the house, or you might want to have a wild party and invite everybody over of your favorite people because they love those introverts, their favorite one or two people. Let's talk about why you might be feeling this. When the sun and the moon are in Leo and Mercury's retrograde, which is starting on the 4th, and there's three planets in Leo and three planets in air, there's a lot of juju in the sky. It's dark out, though. Think of olden days. People couldn't go outside when there was no electricity and it was a dark moon, even though the energy was building. So that's why I'm saying be with who you want to. Should I make you laugh? August 3rd was Martha Stewart's birthday. It will be. She had to stay home. Remember that? They told her she couldn't go out of the house. And then on August 4th, it's Barack Obama. Now, that's a classical story of a man who knows how to stand in front of the stage, spend a lot of time with his energy. There's three famous people, starting with Barack, an orator, a black man that became a president. What a statement for our society. Then there's Meghan Markle, who people have very strong opinions about in that English upper class storyline, as well as, as I mentioned, Martha Stewart, who we have very strong opinions about, and that would be Leo. Leo does not elicit a beige feeling. You either love them or you hate them. And that's what the sky is saying to you. And by the way, not all Leos are outgoing. In fact, when the sun and the moon are together, as I just described to you, it's the shyest combination. The cowardly lion, classical Leo, is the great image for Leo. He said, I do believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do. He was so scared, but he was so courageous. It's the part in all of us who's slightly scared when we stand on stage and we get all dressed up, we do these funny videos, but we do it anyway. I do believe in spooks as he walked through the forest. Remember that? I love that story.